Bye, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here in paradise. It is a Tuesday afternoon. It is January 2nd. 2024 and uh, me and the little dog we are back on the dock having my uh, second sunset margarita for the end times of 2024 and I notice except for the sandhill cranes and the See, we got three sandhill cranes, the blue heron, the white heron, the anhinga, the coot, except for all of my uh, feathered friends. I have this dock entirely to myself on this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. And, uh, <laughs> you know, guys, I, I've had this rant before. I actually, uh, in my book, Peruvian Plunge, I went off on a rant about this. And I think I might have done some rant. Well, I hadn't started my YouTube career the last time I spent the winter in Costa Rica at that McCall rescue organization down there on the coast of Costa Rica, but it's, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess it's the, I, I'm just so glad I'm not a normie rant. Uh, so I am guessing, okay, within a five minute walk of right here, there's probably 200 people within a 10-minute drive of this dock right here. I am guessing 10-minute drive from this dock. 10,000, 15,000 people. Uh, <laughs> and, and I am sitting here entirely by myself uh, drinking my end times margarita uh, and enjoying it while I still can and, and it just it, you know I, I just never cease to be amazed it, it, just thinking about what in the fuck is is everybody else doing and there, there's not one person out on a boat today not one person on about this. I think this is the first time I have been down to this dock for sunset. Not one boat out on the uh, out on the Withlacoochee River. So now part of that, you know, guys, I, I, I guess I can try to explain part of it that, you know, it's the uh, back to work day. It's, it's January 2nd. The uh, holidays are behind us. The Thanksgiving to New Year's uh, holiday season is officially behind us. And it's officially time to get back to work and get out there and get her done. But the thing about it is, is, is I bet half of the people here are retired. So that doesn't explain it. There, uh, this is a retirement community, so the at least half of the people who live here are not at work, haven't been at fucking work, don't have to get back to work, and then of course, uh, th there's a shitload of snowbirds down here. That the reason I I I thought the reason that snowbirds came to Florida. Uh, w w was for this reason, R right here, and uh, once again I was wrong. I do see a person enjoying his little small plane 
riding around in a little plane. Maybe uh, he's getting out there and enjoying it while he still can. Who knows? But uh, I, I, I just don't know what the definition of, of, of getting out there and enjoying it while you still can it is for about 98% of the population. I am the only person here. Uh, me and there on goddamn pile of fish uh, of, of, for the past six weeks. You, you'd be surprised at how many, how many women actually have pictures of themselves posted sitting on docks. You know, I guess that you know with the fishing reference or whatever. Uh, you go on pile of fish, and, and, and you find these pictures sitting on docks. There's this woman right here in Denellen, my age, in Denellen, uh, within a probably within three miles of here. There is a, a a snowbird, my age, sitting on a dock watching this sunset. Right now, she's doing the exact same thing I'm doing. She she's on pile of fish. Looking for a a 64 year old snowbird uh, who, who likes to hang out and watch the sunset on a dock, and and so I emailed her. I said, "Darling, well that it'll, there you are. Here I am sitting on the dock watching the sunset." And uh, she emails me back. And just whatever you know, you know what it was. She, you know she went and read my uh, she went and read my profile. And uh, at least was polite enough to uh, send me a a no thank you. <laughs> oh God! But it, but at least I know that somewhere in Denellen, Florida, uh, there is a woman my age, a snowbird, probably sitting on a dock watching this sunset by herself while I'm sitting on this dock watching this sunset by myself. Oh, fuck. And, and, and this shit, you know, it's, it's been going on just my whole life. I, I, I've been, just, you know... Just wondering, what in the fuck uh, makes normies tick? You know, you can kind of blame it, I guess, on the internet. But but even before the, the days of the internet, it, it was the same damn thing. Uh, it, it would have been exactly the same thing. Uh, you know, the, the last time that I, you know, that I spent the winter in Costa Rica... That was uh, the winter of uh, 2009. Well, you, you, the end of 2000. What was it? Yeah, uh, it, it, it was. It was January and February and March of 2009, living down there in the very, very southwest corner uh, on the beach in, in 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 Costa Rica, where we had these absolutely outrageous sunsets over uh, over the beach. So I would spend my days up on top of the mountain. I was uh, rehabilitating, trying to, uh, that, that's a whole nother story about working with those scarlet macaws, trying to get the, a population of scarlet macaws uh, you know, reintroduced back into the jungle. That's another rant for another day. So, uh, I, you know, every day I would knock off at four o'clock and I would run down the damn mountain, run down the damn mountain, uh, make my drink. Now, of course, I was a stoner. And then, I, I, you know, I'd make a drink, roll a fatty, and I would um, head back to my place, which was right across the street from the beach. And, and I would run out to the beach with my chair, kind of like the one I'm sitting in now. Uh, I would have my drink in one hand and my fatty in the other. And, and right about when the sun was like this, I, I, I noticed that, that all these clueless fucking moron uh, tourists 
were packing up their shit and leaving. They, they, they had been out there, you know, frying in the hot sun, baking in their goddamn uh, suntan lotion or whatever. As soon as I would get there, invariably, uh, there would be, a, you know, a handful of, of these clueless fucking moron uh, tourists, mostly, well, from all over the fucking world. U.S., Canada, Europe, all over the world. They had come to, to be on that beach, facing west into the sunset, and, 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 and right before, right when these absolutely outrageous sunsets were, uh, were beginning, they would pack up and leave and, and, you know, and, and in the beginning, you know, I would like say like, guys, you know, uh, the, the, the most outrageous hour of the day is beginning here. And they would say, well, you know, it's like it, it, it's happy hour and they're going to be uh, serving drinks in the bar up at the fucking eco lodge or whatever. Is there, everywhere you fucking go, there's some eco lodge uh, where, where they're, you know, where they're having drinks and, uh, and, and getting dinner together. And I said, well, bring your fucking drink over to this side of the road. I, I, I gave it up. Uh, try trying to convince these clueless fucking morons, uh, and and so then, you know, so then I go. Uh, I left from there, and uh, you know, I went down to Peru, uh, where I ended up in that uh, eco lodge. There, the same thing. Night after and, and night after night after night, and, and and these people were shelling out some serious fucking moolah to be there. I mean, you had to fucking work a, a, a hell of a lot harder there uh, to get there uh, than, than you did uh, to this uh, place in Costa Rica. And then these guys, right, thousands and thousands of fucking dollars that they had paid to get there. And uh, there was this, as I write about in my book, there was this 11-story, uh, what they call the canopy tower, where you would climb up 11 stories and be in, in this giant kapok tree, looking out over the absolutely fucking, I mean, the most mind-blowing, outrageous uh, rainforest experience and uh, and 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 these and these goddamn tour guides, they would shut down the goddamn. Uh, they would shut down the the rainforest canopy tower at four thirty every day, and 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 herd all these clueless fucking moron eco tours. They you know go back to the bar and. Uh, Everybody would uh, be having their fucking drinks and whatnot, getting ready for dinner at seven, uh, you know, taking their hot showers and all of this shit. And, and I would be sitting up there uh, on, on top of that damn canopy tower uh, w with a fucking drink in one hand and a big fatty in the other. I uh, just uh, you, you know as pretty as this sunset is. I, I you know I, I mean the the sunsets here are a, 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 a fucking walk in the park. They're a goddamn uh, gra graffiti smear on a box car uh, compared to what uh, I enjoyed there. Every I was there about three weeks with these absolutely mind blowing. Uh, I finally one time one time managed to convince this girl uh, who actually took the pictures uh, for, for the book of me up there on that canopy tower. She was working there like I was. Uh, she, she was a resident McCall biologist. She'd been living there like three fucking months. 
never been to that goddamn canopy tower uh, at sunset. You know, the sun would be going down uh, on, on one side. The full moon w would be rising over the canopy of the rainforest. And good fucking God. And she had never done it. And uh, it, it's like I had to drag her kicking and screaming. Uh, she was from Canada. The, the, this, this biologist from Canada living in the fucking Amazon rainforest where there was a goddamn 11-story canopy tower. Never thought of going up there for, for, for the sunset and the, uh, and, uh, the moonrise. And then I then I go I I, I go from Peru and, and and then I end up in uh, Saint Croix. Uh, two damn winters I spent in Saint Croix, on uh, you know where I got the little little dog eight years ago. Two winters I, I spent in Saint Croix. So the first thing is, you know, they, they have these, these goddamn cruise ships from hell full of these clueless fucking morons that would, uh, they would arrive in the middle of the night and these, and these clueless fucking morons would pour off the cruise ship uh, every morning at 8 o'clock, spend uh, eight hours uh, on the island in their little fucking four-wheel tours or whatever. And then the boat would leave at 4 o'clock every afternoon. So I would be up on top of the mountain, uh, two and a half miles from the, from the dock, and, and they would blow their goddamn horn, you know, giving these clueless fucking morons their 10-minute warning. And that would be my signal to come down to the mountain, come off the mountain uh, down to the beach. Uh, once these goddamn uh, clueless fucking morons were on their big-ass cruise ship getting the fuck out of there. And um, so then I would go to the bar every night uh, to whatever, what was that called? Rhythms. So I would go to Rhythms Bar right on the fucking beach to get my, uh, you know, get my rum and pineapple and, 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 and take my seat at the, at one of the tables, uh, there at the bar, I would use it or out on the beach and, uh, you know, looking out at the sunset to, to these outrageous sunsets. And, and you wouldn't believe how many fucking times I, 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 I would be sitting at the sunset bar at Rhythm's Sunset Grill or whatever the fuck it was, and, and how many people th that, that had traveled from God knows where, spent God knows how much money, would be across the table facing me, looking due east with, a, with, with, with this outrageous sunset at their back. And, and, and they would just be looking you know, into the bar and, and just blabbing away and we'd be, we, we'd be talking about whatever. And, and uh, they, you know, these were the people who were actually staying there, staying on the island for a few nights. And they would be talking about what the fuck is there to do on St. Croix. And I would say like, darling or dude, uh, I'm doing it right now. What there is to do on this. I like, what are you talking about? I, I, I said, I walk a, a five mile round trip every day for these outrageous sunset going on behind your head. I, I said, maybe you want to turn around and, and enjoy this sunset. So what they would do, they would get this kind of confused look on their face. This, this, this happened a hundred fucking times. These clueless morons, they, they would turn around, they would, you know, these swivel chairs, they would turn around in their swivel chairs and they would uh, and they would look at the sunset. And, wow, that's that's pretty fucking cool. And you know what they would do? They would grab their fucking uh, phones. They they would grab their goddamn phones, and and they would snap 
two or three pictures uh, of, of this gorgeous sunset. They would look at this sunset. Now, it would be about, call it 30 to 40 minutes uh uh, for for the sunset to unfold from beginning to end and 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 they would look at the sunset for about 30 to 40 seconds they would snap their fucking pictures on that motherfucking smartphone they turn right around and 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 just start blabbing uh, 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 about shit uh, you know talking to me about what the fuck there is to do on St. Croix <laughs> Oh God, and and, uh, and so here I am. I'm 64 years old. Uh, I, I'm a snowbird down here in Florida, sitting here by myself. Uh, wondering, where the fuck is everybody? Uh, you know, I, I I come down to the dock for my for my social intercourse, this is where I come down, uh, you know, to talk to my neighbors, all of my, uh, all of my Trump tarred neighbors and, and, and whatnot. So I come down here lo looking for some, uh, for some human company for some goddamn reason. Uh, and, 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 and I come down here and it's me and the, uh, and, and me and the birds. Fucking humans. Fucking humans. Uh, you know, I, I wonder how many women on pile of fish, including the ones, where, where the, you know, the, the, with the pictures of them sitting on a dock at sunset. How many of those, how many of those women, uh, how many nights in a row would, would they come down here to this dock? How many nights in a row? If they lived where I do, one block from here. If they made it five nights in a row uh, to come down here and, and, and watch this sunset before they you know, started making excuses of, uh, uh, of why uh, they, they had all of this shit that was more important to do uh, than, than, than getting out there and enjoying this while they still could. I, I would be shocked if, if, if there's a goddamn woman on pile of fish uh, that, that I could meet. You know, this woman that I met, how long? Uh, three weeks ago, like, you know, we've been out together like six times. She's here for Christmas and, and she leaves at, at 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, and, and, you know, I've been, I've been telling her about these damn sunsets and, uh, she, she lives 10 fucking minutes from here. Never been here. I mean, we came down here on Christmas and she saw how pretty it was. Uh, and I say, well, darling, come up here, uh, for sunsets. I'm, oh yeah. Uh, that, that, that sounds great. But, and it never happened. Never, probably never will happen. And I will save the, uh, the rant about the woman I love. The woman I love. Okay. Make this quick. Uh, the, the, the woman I love, I, I finally convince her to, uh, to leave her comfortable, beautiful home uh, and, and, and come down here and, and join me to be my doomer chick forever, to get out there and enjoy it while we still can. How many nights, how many nights with Dulcinea? How many nights, darling, if you were, if you actually uh, decided to, to be my doomer chick forever and come down here, uh, and be a snowbird uh, with me, how many nights would you come down here to this dock for this sunset versus how many nights you would find an excuse to be sitting up there uh, in, 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 in that damn trailer uh, a block from here? Uh, oh, God. 
I, I, I just don't get humans. And, 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 and this includes doomers. I, I, I don't think there's many doomers uh, who would uh, come down here five nights in a row before they would uh, be, you know, be sitting in the fucking trail or doom scrolling or whatever uh, people decide to do with their lives. I just don't get it. It, it, it. It's a fucking mystery to me. But anyway, I hear the great horned owl beginning to hoot. And the great horned owl is waking up telling me and the little dog it is time to pack up the gator and get back home and the little dog says bob it's time for me to eat i'll need my chicken I see that big old gator. He was out here yesterday. I think it's like the gator might be uh, checking out the action on the dock. So I think I'm going to get my little dog. Uh, God, get out there and enjoy uh, being a fucking normie. I'm being a human. And uh, what did Woody Allen say? Uh, Going out in the woods and becoming two with nature. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, come back with a uh, doomsday lonely heart whine in a little while. Bye, guys.